Welcome back guys. So in this portion of the series, we're going to start working on, you know, textures and materials and then we'll move forward to decals and then in the final section we'll do rendering. So for now, um, I have a dual screen so I don't need to have my canvas up, but if you need it, you can. Uh, I'm going to start um, applying some materials to the model and the quickest way to do that is just hit A on the keyboard, which is the hot key for appearance. And then uh, we can choose a material to start applying. So if you go down to paint glossy, for an example, we'll drag one of these materials, say the green, for instance, we can drag and drop into the model. Now, once you apply it to the model inadvertently, it gets applied here in the InDesign section. So anything that you apply, any color you apply will be brought into this scene. And you can right click on it, duplicate it. If you need to duplicate a material, you can always select it you know, and uh, edit it as well. So if I have this green material here, I can right click on it, go to edit, and then I can start manipulating and adjusting the colors. And I can also change the roughness. So if I want it to be less reflective, I can dial up the roughness. If I want it to be less reflective, I can dial down the reflectiveness. So that's a little bit about the colors. Now what I want to do is um, go back. So I'll control Z before I apply those materials hit A to bring up the appearance again. And what I want to do is add some texture to this. So what I'll do is add, uh, I'll close out the paint. I'll go to leather and cloth, choose leather. And for this glossy leather, I can just drag and drop this into the model. And you can see in the background, it has a cloudy material on it, which is a texture. And we can go about editing that by right clicking on the InDesign material, going to edit, and we can downscale this or upscale it. I want to downscale it so I can hold more detail. And this looks like a good texture size for now. So I can hit done just to, um, so we can zoom in and see that a bit better. Now what I want to do is change this color from black to orange. So I'm going to right click on the material in the InDesign section, go to edit, go down to advanced. And uh, we already have a roughness, which is going to be the material applied. So what I want to do is change the image because I don't want that image to be there. So what I'll do is right click, go to color and go to an orange color that closely matches the reference. So somewhere around here looks good for me. I'll just dial this down a bit. I'll hit OK once I'm satisfied. And where it says reflectiveness, I can change, you know, uh, how shiny it is. Or I could dial it down some. You have other options. You can change the translucency if need be, but I'm, I'm not going to touch that. I think that's fine the way it is. So I'll press apply. Hit OK. Then I can exit out of this. So now that I applied this material here, I can reuse this by dragging and dropping it where it needs to be. But what I don't want is this material uh, texture to be everywhere. So I'll control Z to go back before I apply that hit a to bring it back up and I'll just add a, um, a paint material. So I'll drag and drop a yellow, which I'll then change to be orange to match this here in a sec. So I'll drag this down here for this button, right click to go to edit and I'll make this an orange color that matches a lot closer. So this needs to be a little brighter and the roughness needs to be taken down or up a little bit less reflective. Once you're satisfied, hit, hit done. And I can reapply this material to a specific face rather than the entire body. So if I drag and drop this now on this area, it's gonna apply to the entire body and we don't want that. So let's hit Control Z to go back and let's hit A to bring back up that materials menu. menu. And what I wanna do is change it from body slash components to faces and now I can apply it where I need it to be. 
nice and perfect. And that also helps for this area here, but these are also bodies. So what we can do is combine this to this if we want. So let's go to bodies. We can just apply this. And we could have combined these two together as well and just started to apply this specifically to the faces, but sometimes it's easier to keep them separated. And what I want to do now is grab a black glossy material and I can drag it and drop it into the scene rather than applying it to here if I want to as well. And what I'll do is change this to bodies or to faces and then I'll start applying it to the faces that it needs to be applied to. And you can shift select multiple faces and drag and drop the material onto one area if that makes it easier for you as well. So once you're satisfied, you can drag and drop and you'll see it gets applied. But now something I also want to do is apply it to some of these faces so we can give the illusion of depth. Like there's a hole. And I could have easily made holes, but if we can get it done with the material, it saves time with modeling. Drag and drop to apply it. Now we have this exactly how we need it to be. That looks great. That's nice and shiny. And now what I want to do is, you know, start applying this to this sections, to the other sections as well. And what I'll also do is grab that leather material that we used to change orange, but grab the original and we can drag and drop this to the scene. Let's go back to bodies and we can drag and drop this somewhere like this. And what we can do is edit this to change the scale like we did previously. You want the scale to be really low, so all the way down. We can make it a little bit bigger as you need to. Then hit done. And we can just apply the same material anywhere we need it to be. Just drag and drop in this material. And I'm going to actually change this color later on to be a lot lighter. Because I don't necessarily agree with the color being 100% black. What we'll do is go to edit and let's start adjusting some of these colors. So we'll go to advanced, go to the image, color. We can make it dark, but just not too dark. Hit OK once we're satisfied. And that still looks a little dark to me, so let's go back to color. Let's lighten this up. Hit OK. Hit Apply. And now let's apply this black glossy material to this button here on the sides. And we do want to drag and drop this material and cancel here so we can so we apply a material on top of material that's already there you have the option of keeping it or removing so I'll press keep so that way it doesn't affect this material that's here prior so lastly I'll just drag and drop over here to these bodies and I forgot to actually apply um, a combined with these bodies
And lastly, we'll drag the glossy material for the little beads in the back, the little buttons. And I think this is a good stopping point. We're done with the materials. Actually, I almost forgot that I need to add this material here. So what I'll do is go to faces, select this face, this face, this face, this one, here, and here. And what I'll do is drag and drop this steel satin material here. So now it looks more realistic. And I think this is a good stopping point for this video. And for the next one, we'll start adding some decals that I provided for you guys in the resource folder. So I'll catch you in the next one.